All right, Kylie. Oh my gosh. It's time. Are you ready? Are we going? Hold on. Yeah. Are you serious? Is it time? Yeah, it's time. Oh my gosh. We have waited such a long time for this day. <laughs> it feels like it's been forever. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh my god, let's just, okay, I gotta change because I'm like literally covered in dust. Ready? Ready. You have the keys? Yep. You wanna lock the door? Oh yeah. Hey you guys, welcome back to Reed Head Homestead. We are doing something so fun today. Oh my gosh, we have been waiting for a very long time what seems like a long time we ordered our trailer back in November and it was going to be built in January and they said it would be done in February today's the day today is the day that we get to go and pick it up we're so excited um, it's gonna be super fun yeah last summer we had a trailer and it was a big toy haul it was yeah it was a toy hauler it wasn't super big but it was perfect for us and we loved the layout it had so much room and you know but we kind of we kind of still felt like it was a little bit too big for us and we you know but it a... was we got such a smoking deal on it that we were like well let's just try this out and see if we even like doing this ourselves you know yeah. we we've, we've been camping with family a lot growing up we've spent a lot of time camping with my dad and stepmom in their trailer and you know we really liked the idea of it and so we thought okay well for a cheap a cheap trailer let's get into this um, little hobby and see if it's something that we really enjoy and we had so much fun last summer we were like weekend warring it up every <laughs> every weekend we felt like okay now we kind of know what kind of trailer we like what we had in mind and we looked at a lot of options the number one thing was size because our yes. toy hauler yeah. was big it's fantastic if you're going to constantly take toys out yeah but we don't constantly take toys out and the size too we had to store it at family house yeah. which ultimately all of our family is really nice my parents we stored it in their backyard yeah and my parents were really cool about it really nice they were surprised that we were even selling our trailer yeah and then your dad was saying too he's like oh, it doesn't just, matter it if doesn't you ever matter. need to store it somewhere just store it in my backyard yeah. but we ultimately didn't want to do that to our family yeah we and just so yeah we felt like you size know size was a big thing we wanted something that we could fit in our backyard and we've got low eaves so it had to be compact we've got a good size rv gate but the eaves on our garage they come down really low and so it was really limiting what height of trailer that we could get and we just knew that we wanted something that could fit in our backyard and also we felt like last summer we had this great trailer with plenty of space in it and we spent 90 percent of our time outside <laughs> you know i mean we would go in to make food every now and again and um sleep and that was it we were like all we wanted to do was just be outside literally this trailer is like six ten six foot ten inches and we have about seven foot one inches of <laughs> so, <laughs> this is barely gonna fit but it should fit so we're really we're really looking forward to it being able to park it in our backyard and um just have fun you know this is like we had homestead on wheels <laughs> It's so fun. Wheels edition. Wheels edition, exactly. <laughs> so we're almost there. We're going to show you guys, and we just cannot wait to pick it up. What do we have? We have our new travel train. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you guys ready to see this thing? Here it is! It's so cute! <laughs> it's so awesome! Okay, so Mark's taking off this windshield cover. Oh, this whole front thing is a windshield. How freaking sweet is that? Oh. <laughs> it's so cute! They stay open with the magnetic Yeah, belt. there's a little, a little hook good. here. Ta -da. Boom. And so here's the inside. Okay. Ugh. You know what the best part is? Is this the new smell. Yeah. <laughs> the new smell is so awesome. Okay. Let's get a full. Ex well, I want to do yeah, a full. Do like a full little thing. Okay. Yeah. Before we start running into the interior, yeah. here, here's the keys. Let's show them. 
because this little trailer, you think, what the heck's in this thing? Yeah. This is an Intec Luna, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the branding or not. It's so big. <laughs> I wonder what brand it is. What is it? Okay. Yeah. But I wonder what this thing on the back is. This really cool thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's our full kitchen. <laughs> with lights and speakers. And this fridge runs off of 110 or 12 volt. Yep. We upgraded for the bigger Dometic fridge. Yep. Which I think was a great purchase. It's got totally. propane stove. It's got full sink to wash everything in. Yeah. Now it doesn't hold gray water so when we go out it just has a spout that goes straight down so when we go out we just have to put a little bucket yeah. down underneath it for campsite cap camping but this is not even the coolest part no well actually that is a pretty cool that's a pretty cool feature but this was sold me on the trailer so little teardrop trailers like this never have a toy why don't you sit on the little side so they see exactly how large it is because oh, yeah. you look kind of munchkin -y right here munchkin? yeah no, so just I sit down stand up in here guys <laughs> And yeah, like Boom. there's yeah, there's tons of room. Even I fit in this. I can sleep yeah. in this because I'm six one, so it's got plenty of room for us. But we'll go over those features in a second. Yeah. What what's this surprise? What this, is this magic cabinet? This is a magic cabinet. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my toilet! gosh! Is that a random toilet? It's a toilet. How cool is that? I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, is that hinge gonna hit that front wall? No, it's not. They it's have so a fun. really solid hinge. Yeah. To and it's just a uh, cassette toilet, so, so we nice. can dump it anywhere. Yeah. And Don't have, have to pay dump fees. Here. Oh my gosh, we have cup holders. Yay. Oh, and we've got 12 volt outlets on either side, so oh. we can hook stuff in. Yeah, and this one over here, well, actually, these two over here are USB. So you have USB on my side, or your side. I've got um, yeah. passenger side. I just got outlets. And then you've got light control on either side, if you see this. Yeah. You get all sorts so, of interior lights, accent lights. Yeah, so all these, these lights, oh, you did the main lights. Uh -huh. Those of you, yeah, are gonna say like, well, is it, aren't people gonna see you? Well, no. Oh right. my. So you do have a shade in here, which is nice. I like that they hid the shade. You know, like this was a really good, mm -hmm. a good feature that they did. So there is a little fireplace, which is like so And we fun. tested this all out at the dealership. That thing puts out major heat. Oh yeah. And the AC works fantastic. The only thing that doesn't, which so everything. Because I'm like always freezing. Everything in here runs on 12 volt, except for three things. Yeah. The so the AC, the normal. heater, the heater doesn't work on, on 110. It works on 12 volt. Yeah. Or it doesn't work on 12 volt. It works on 110. And then the TV as well. Yeah. Because those use a lot of energy. So those, these three things right here are the only thing that don't run off the battery on the trailer. You know what? It's so nice that the lights, everything else works off of the battery mm -hmm. because um, our last trailer didn't. Yeah, nothing worked off the battery yeah, on the last trailer. So you can turn it into a chair or a bed. She's yeah. just pulling it all out. So this, yeah, you could keep this as your chair and then this also folds out to be your bed. So you could do either or. Has but, this little headrest thing too. Yeah, just for keeping it in here like this. You can put these wherever you want. So we're excited to take this out and show you guys a little bit. It's gonna be so fun! Yay! Yeah. I'm so excited! <laughs> let me let me do an all around for you guys one more so time. Cute. So here's what it looks like from the front. Into the back. We opted for no microwave, which I think is extremely smart. Yeah. We've got our propane water and it is solar accessible. We can add a solar panel. Yep. And then like she said, it's got two doors. It's really sweet. Super sweet. We love it. Yippee, Reed Head Homestead on Wheels Edition. <laughs> okay guys, we're actually going to sleep in the trailer tonight <laughs> and enjoy the fireplace and enjoy a movie. We are all set up in here. Ah, it's so fun! I ran to the store and got some Redbox movies. Never seen this one. Crazy Rich Asians have also never seen it, but heard it, heard that was a good movie, so um, went and picked it up. Let me show you guys how cute the fireplace is. It's so fun. So we had to get Redbox movies because a, we don't own any DVDs, and B, the Wi-Fi wouldn't reach all the way to the other side of our house, 
So we were hoping that we could have the Roku box out here, but it wouldn't reach. So I was like, okay, so what does one do? Oh yeah, there's a red box. <laughs> I'm excited to wake up in it in the morning and make some coffee and uh, just have fun. So we're gonna enjoy our evening and we'll catch you guys in the morning. So we had so much fun sleeping in the trailer last night. We had the fireplace on most of the night. <laughs> it was so fun to just watch a movie, fall asleep, wake up this morning, went in, made us some coffee, came back out. Had our coffee, we've been watching a movie, and now I'm like, okay, I need to try to get with it a little bit. We did stop by TJ Maxx last night, and I picked up these bins, and I think they're gonna work really well. Um, what's nice is that they have a lid on them. So I was thinking anything I put up there, it's not gonna fly out, which is nice. I did pick up these little bins too. There's three, three bins in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use those yet, but the mission is all these bins here. There's a bunch of stuff kind of throughout this situation that came from our last trailer. So I'm going to work on unpacking these. I don't even really remember what all is in them. So I'm gonna work on unpacking them and trying to get them all situated and figured out. And then I will figure out if I need more bins and more storage and just kind of go from there. First, I just need to figure out what all I have so that I can get it organized and get all the kitchen stuff put away, everything that we normally need, so that way when we're ready to pack up and go, we are ready to go. So, I think I can do it. Let's get started. We have here, huh? So, I was actually able to get everything organized. Um, you guys saw me trying to sort through all of our bins in those last few clips and I'm surprised actually by how much I was able to fit um, in this space I wasn't sure so I thought I would just show you guys kind of how I set this up to hopefully um, you know so that way we have everything that we need I just have our silverware I have our plates bowls and then in this one I have um, you know, salt and pepper, little knives, um, coffee filter, can opener. At the very bottom, I have cutting boards and some little containers. So that all fit in there. What do I have in this one? In this one, oh, I have our cups. So we always, I always keep these in the trailer for coffee in the morning, and then I'll have to put one more of these in here, but then Mark and I will usually use these throughout the day as well. So I have those and some little reusable straws. So then in this bin, I have um, <clears throat> some bungee cords. I have some cable ties. I have, you know, just chip clips, just like random stuff that we usually end up needing when we're camping. And in this cabinet here, I have some pots and pans. I have a little collapsible colander and some plastic utensils. And then I also have a little toaster for us. I usually like to have toast in the morning or Mark, actually our staple was um, bagels. <laughs> bagels, camping, it's just like the easiest little thing ever. And then down here, beloved little coffee pot. And the tiny cupboard. And the little tiny cupboard, but this works perfectly for the coffee pot. But down here I have our little drying mats. Uh, we used to have an actual drying can, you know, rack with our last trailer, but I just opted not to use one with this space. Then down here, I just have little dish towels, you know, microfiber rags. These are our go-to for pretty much everything and all that good stuff. For this space, I think we'll plan on just putting like our chips, our bagels, our bread, you know, kind of dry goods, everything can go in there. So I wanted to leave that space open for us. So thanks so much for being here, you guys. We hope that you enjoyed seeing our trailer. We're super excited to take it out for the first time. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing how I got everything set up here. Um, we do have a few camping trips planned soon, so we'll bring you guys along with us on those. So stay tuned, stick around, and we'll catch you guys really soon. Bye!